Dale was the type of man that thought he could change the world. Dale just had a common longing to help people raise or rise up above where they were. He was very smart. You know, I thought a brilliant person. Here was a young man that was going somewhere quickly. You could always see he had a lot of entrepreneurial spirit about himself. We officially started to be talked about the business on our honeymoon in 1990. That's when we came up with the name Delinda. At that time, he was a programmer, computer programmer. So of course, it would be a computer-based business. That's what he loved to do. We had our first really big contract in 1998 with the state. And then he picked up a contract with the city of Birmingham. I saw Dale uh, in the uh, Birmingham Business Journal and um, cut out his article. And um, it was a story that was run on him talking about how successful his business was. So I wrote him a little note, sent it in the mail. And before I could follow up with him, he actually made the call to set up the meeting. He told me what he wanted to do and kind of gave me the visions and, and asked me to go back and come up with a plan to protect him, his family, and the business. And he wanted to make sure that at least his family would be provided for economically in the event something happened. And of course, we never thought at such a young age something would happen. When I got up that morning, I remember he was sitting on his side of the bed. He was actually up all night and didn't get to sleep, and um, he had chest pains. I said, we've got to go to the emergency room. I wanted to call paramedics, but he said, no, we're close enough to the emergency room. We can get there. And he turned in to get out the car. He said, I think I can make it. And he stopped as he stopped right in the door. And I said, Dale. And he didn't answer me. And when I called him the second time, that's when he came back. And his eyes were rolled back in his head. All I remember is running into the emergency room to try to get some help. They got out there and got him, but he never did regain consciousness. They never could get him back. He passed away of a um, heart attack. Later on, when I did get back home, it dawned on me to call Greg. The first thing I did was um, got on the phone with the office manager, and it everything started rolling. Uh, I needed to get some money in her hand and get it in, in her hands fast. The policy that they bought was considered key man uh, because it was for the business and it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It gave her enough cash to basically keep the company running until she get herself up to speed. The company's very much alive and well and it's got a couple of contracts going with the city of Birmingham, I know for a fact, and probably a few more that are looking out in the private sector. So she transitioned into the role of CEO, and I think she's done quite well. We lost a visionary, a brilliant man, real people person, a real community-oriented person. Dale's uh, wife is okay, the company is running, uh, the kids' college is taken care of, and they're okay for the rest of their lives. <laughs>